Hi, welcome to another Until I Die. This is Thanatos um, by Jarel Software. It's probably one of the last games I remember getting for my Spectrum before it broke. But it broke because I broke it. <laughs> I was a kid, I was allowed to break it. Anyway, uh, I remember it having this kind of really nice dragon looking thing. You know, the, the front cover was really nice. So, basically, it's... Where am I going to be going? Uh, old skill, plain keys. Gem Kempstein, yes. Skill 1, and it's play. Right, so here you are, big dragon. You've got to be careful of your... Um, you've got the, the heart on the left-hand side, and I think you're... It's kind of like... Is it your breath? Yeah, the breath is on the right hand side, but it's represented by the gauge there. Now, you can overexert yourself um, and cause your heart rate to beat faster, and if it gets too fast, then you end up dying. So, controls are essentially left and right slows you down. If you want to turn, Hold down the fire button and press right, and you can see it doing that. You've got to be pretty quick, because it's one of those one, one after the other, because otherwise you start using your um, flames, and you don't want to do that. So, we're running to the right, and I'm going to press up, and it'll start to fly. Now, I don't remember a lot with this game. I do remember though there was something about which you had to eat or pick up. Uh, and there are certain castles basically that you can pretty much uh, blow down a door with your breath and then and start killing the villagers as well. Damn fucking bees or wasps. But you can hear that the heartbeat's getting a lot stronger now, especially when I'm being attacked by the wasps. Let's see if I can get down a bit. You've got some interesting attacks as well, like you can pick up townspeople and then just drop them. I think I might have to stop in a minute because, yep, heartbeat's getting a bit too much. So I'm just going to leave that to um, calm down a bit. No, I don't want to turn. Just be careful with turning in the uh, the fire button. Right, okay, let's start to fly again. The boss B things aren't that bad, which is a good thing. Personally, we should fuck off. <laughs> oh, oh, I have to settle down a bit more. Right. Yeah, you would go away when I start flaming you. No, don't turn.
Okay, let's try this again. In some ways, this kind of reminds me of Cauldron. Um, because of the way that, you know, you can fly in different areas. And there's a section where there's um, a sea area. Um, which is... Yeah, fucking eat that. Um, which you can fly over. Where is it coming up? Oh, look, here we go. Can I? No, I can't. But you can see all the villagers throwing stuff at you. And firing bits and pieces. Um, bow and arrow, that's what I'm trying to think of. Can I pick a rock? Aha! There you go. Fly low enough. Let him go with a fire button. Watch him die. Trying to slow down a bit. Can I eat him? No. Ah, I can play him. That's good. I don't know what's. Dying near me, certainly not me, I don't think. Right, so start flying again since the heart rate's dropped. Get a bit closer. And chuck him. So as I recall, I think both edges had... Um, both ends of the map had... Um, gates to smash into. Oh, here we go. This is the sea bit. So you can see the way that the... Uh, oh, fuck, I didn't know there's sea serpents on there. Oh, 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 I'm going to have to drop down. Ooh, that almost ended up in a death then. <laughs> you could see that the heart rate was really starting to... Um... And that's the interesting thing, even if you stop now, so you're not getting as killed, which is fairly interesting. Or it could just show the badassery of the, uh, the dragon. See, yeah, you can see the moonlight in the, the water is nicely reflecting. And the, uh, sea serpents and the viking ships. Calm down a bit. The last Dragon Tiger I remember playing um, was Draken. Uh, Order of the Flame, which I thought was actually really good. Um, the fighting mechanics and the dragons themselves was a bit hard to, to, to control, but it was still an interesting idea. Um, basically, it was you... It, it was you... Um, as a woman called... Oh, I can't remember what her name was now. Oh... Either way, uh, you end up finding a dragon, I think, which is part of 
the was it the town's heritage that they always had these dragon rider type people and you can choose to either ride on a dragon which sometimes is okay but you get hit by other dragons in the air or you can land the dragon and and take off do what well, say take off you can do your own thing oh oh i've got a sea serpent not for long um and then you could call a dragon if he disappeared off and he'd come to you afterwards um I didn't get much far enough. I'm going to have to dig that out somewhere. That'll be good. I'll see if I can get that recorded at some point. As a kind of... I mean, I've got other games to play anyway that I need to finish off as Let's Plays, but I think that would be a good one. But again, it's going to be one of those... I've played it up to this point, and the rest of it's blind. So... I'm still really disappointed that I couldn't actually play... Um, what was the other game? Um, Blade of Darkness. Because it just didn't want to record properly. And yes, these areas are quite, quite long. In terms of how big it is. I mean, I think that's pretty impressive for a spectrum, but uh, I'm sure if someone can show me a game that I've probably done that's got longer areas, but uh, right, are we finally getting to? Oh, oh, okay. I actually thought there was a castle up this way. Maybe not. Well, I do apologize for taking you all the way through this area with uh, there's obviously no reason. Even though I actually thought it was something this way. I do remember though that there was a, a magazine that said yeah you had to fly on the way right to the left to pick up the witch. Unless I'm mistaken, which I probably am. Considering this is just shown that there's nothing all the way to the left. Now we've got to take the long journey all the way back again. Tell you what, I will not end it here, but you know, I will I will join you again when we get to a better point. Right, okay, so now I've finally got rid of the bees. Oh shit. Probably where I'm gonna die. Because we now got to do a fair bit. Where I'm, pro I'm hoping to be able to get out. Might do actually. Let's, let's slow down a bit. Right, yeah, so I've just been in. Falling rocking bit. Uh, falling rocking bits? Falling rock bits. Um. It's taken me a while to get to here. So, we now know there's nothing massive to the left. Uh, I have been able to pick up one of those green rocks, to be honest, but you've got to be low enough, or it's either you've got to be low enough, or you've got to kind of take off with it. Uh, I like that. But it just seems all to be really pointless. So, 
I suppose unless you were waiting for the screen to catch up and see some splatter, which... Okay, fair enough. So we're going through another area with a lot of people throwing things at us. <coughs> and we should get... Ah, another sea area. Hopefully there's not going to be as many or any sea uh, monsters, and there isn't. Oh, getting a bit... Ah, here we go. See that wall there? Yeah. So... We can't usually get into the wall, but if we flame the wall, you can see it going blue. I'm hoping. Yep, and we've done it. So now we're inside the castle. which means more people are going to throw things at us. Oh, oh, there's the woman. Need to... Where is she? up here. Right, so I've got the woman now. So I'm going to throw it to the right. Now at the castle area. Not sure where I'm going now. I can't remember to be honest. So we're going to another is it looks like a cave system. Now for the oh well, next to a mountain really, let's be honest. More fucking bees. Personally, I wish it the fuck off, but there you go. Slow down a bit. The flying. Now, is there any sea serpents here? I've got a feeling there might be. Yeah. So excuse the incredibly long aim, but uh, I have completed a few, so that's a good thing. Right, okay, past the eye area. More freaking bees, which is just what you don't want.
There's a uh, mountain area. I keep calling it cave area, it's a mountain area. It's clearly fine. Yeah. Oh shit! And spiders. Deadly tarantulas. Surprised some of them killed a woman actually. So rest a bit. And onward. Here you can get some more spiders on the way. And that will be the end. Right. The village. People throwing stuff. Is there anything interesting? Ah, under the castle wall. See if I can uh, settle down a minute. Now the thing is, I don't think I will be able to open this ball because I don't think I've got enough breath or enough flame. And that's it, my flame's gone. Wonderful. Right, give me a second, guys. Right, okay, so I've had a quick look at the instructions. And yes, the whole I have done it right so far. I've picked up the girl that I wanted to do. But the weird thing is, you remember what I was saying about the witch? Well apparently you she is there. Um, but duh, 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 if you run out of flame, go back on flying witch tied between two stakes. Now, I don't even remember seeing that. And you can eat the witch uh, by just walking up to her, but I don't remember seeing it. Um, which means I'm going to have to fly back through the spiders again. Oh, uh, wait, okay. It's falling rocks now instead of spiders. Right. Let's see if we can. Oh shit. She has fallen off. And that's me dead. Great. So, there you go. That's Thanatos. So basically, I was right. Basically, keep going right. You've got to go down the first gate to get the woman, which is what I did do. Uh, then I need to go to the second... Um, the second area. Where have they gone? Fly to the next castle, find a book of spells, and she collects that, and then you do the last castle where she goes, um, find a cauldron, and the girl can cast a spell, and that's it, basically. So, uh, there you go. So, until the next video, I'll see you then. Bye.